Hi hey everybody, Rick here. I thought what I would do is show you my homemade hand engraving machine that uh, was inspired by Sean Hughes, an engraver. He has a YouTube channel and I'll leave a link below to him. He's very talented and thanks to him gave me this idea for building the uh, homemade hand engraving machine. Now what I did was I put everything into a 50 caliber ammo can and that worked for me. What you build and how you build it is strictly up to you. So what I thought I'd do here is show you the machine uh, and then talk about how much everything costs to put this thing together in this video and in the next video I'll get into how you modify the compressor and uh, then how I built the box so what I have is the 55 or the 50 caliber ammo can and inside it I put all the goodies you have the modified air compressor a 110 to 12 volt power supply. I went with 15 amps because this was 15 amps. I've got a uh, 80 millimeter PC fan to keep everything cool. A speed controller. Power switch and a light. And there's room for other mods. I also have the plug-in for the foot switch. And I'm going to put another plug-in for... Uh, a 12 volt. If I want to run off a battery or a cigarette lighter I'll just be able to plug straight in and run it from there. But right now this is how I have it set up. I have some air holes drilled into it and PC fan where I plug in my foot pedal. Foot pedal is just a uh, tattoo foot pedal Got a power switch on here that gets the fan going. Here's your speed controller. That gets it running. Now when it's running, I can step on the foot pedal. And then I have another foot pedal for air to bring the air on slow. So you have more control over the graver. So, what I've done with it, I've been able to engrave this is 4140 chrome molly steel. It's the breech for one of my cannons. And I was able to engrave my logo into it. So this thing works. It's very impressive. I'm glad I learned how to do this because now I can embellish my cannons. Uh, I transfer the image that I want to engrave using a laser printer. Sean Hughes' website also shows how to do that, but it works very well and it just doesn't rub off very easy. It would take acetone or something to wipe it off. And I've engraved my logo onto some brass items just to play with the transfer and the engraver. So I'm very impressed with what you get for very little money. Now, let's get into the cost of this thing. I built this with a an air compressor that I modified. I got this at uh, Harbor Freight for thirty dollars. And in the next video, I'll show you how to modify it. Right now, I'm just going to go over the cost of all the items. Uh, the ammo can was between thirteen and fifteen dollars depending on if you catch it on sale or not at uh, Harbor Freight. The uh, 
12 volt power or the 110 to 12 volt power supply that was about $18 I got a 15 amp power supply it may not need that because there's never a load put on this pump it strictly just runs the piston runs back and forth to compress and suck the air back it just fluctuates the air it just pushes the same air back and forth so there's really never a load put on this now if you engrave for long lengths of time it may get warm I don't know I've never engraved with it that long plus I've got the uh, the PC fan in there to help keep it cool the uh, motor controller 12 volt motor controller here got off eBay it was like six dollars and fifty cents free shipping switches are all over the place you just decide what power switch you want to use and go with it not that big deal. and fittings cheap easy to get a hold of let's see what else we have here the tattoo foot pedal with the plug in it was about four dollars shipped I think it was a little less than that but I put a mono jack in here so I could just plug the foot pedal in have control over it. Works good. Now if I want to just plug it in and leave it on I'll have to get another one of these and uh, twist the leads together and then I can plug it in and it'll just turn on and stay on for if you don't want to mess with two pedals. The air pedal was uh, let's see how much was that air pedal this pedal I believe was I think this was a little more expensive it still wasn't too bad but I'm gonna go I don't know thirteen dollars on this it wasn't that expensive didn't need to plug that hole unnecessary I've built a few of these now and like I said I, I really like this Pittsburgh compressor I've had a uh, I believe this is a Campbell Haas field and it worked it worked fine very noisy and it liked to jump around a lot so kinda retired that one early on in the game PC fans, you may have one laying around. Cheap, three dollars on eBay. Uh, that's the uh, power controller, six fifty. Here's the power supply. Said it was eighteen dollars off eBay, and just Mickey Mouse parts here. The handpiece. I made and we'll get into that later uh, I just wanted to show how all this stuff works and what it costs and how I put it together hitting now so between the dial between the speed controller and the foot pedal 
you've got control and controls more important than power so let me try to do something here pretty deep so it does a fantastic job So that is about all I have for now. The next video I'll get into how to mod the compressor for this. So thanks for tuning in. If you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.